Jordan and Barry here, the Brownstone Boys, and we are here in our kitchen today, and we have such a huge treat for you because we just completely reorganized our entire kitchen and it has changed our lives. So we're here with Melissa Park from With Arla, and she is a professional organizer and helped us do this entire project. Barry and I, when we renovated our space in 2019, we kind of didn't pay any attention to our cabinets. Enter Melissa in the project, and she kind of explained what home organization does. So Melissa, I'm gonna throw you under the bus, <laughs> go back in time, and kind of let our audience know what you do as a professional home organizer. Yeah, so basically, I just think like, okay, everyone who's living in their home has a system. And the way I see my job is I wanna help people, you know, improve their system and make it easier for them to, to live in their space. I think what organizing really is, it's just, I want it to be easy for you to use a space, um, easy to put things back. And the last thing for two busy people to do is have to then, uh, now your house is a chore. and have to like clean up, everything's everywhere. And you're, you're stressed out by your space where this is your home. This is where you want to just relax and, you know, make memories and just enjoy the space opposed to being stressed out. For your kitchen, you, you had great cabinets, you have great millwork, but what I see with most spaces is just probably too much stuff. Things needed to be purged and curated. Jordan, do you use this? No. Or this? <laughs> no. I don't think we need these. No. Do you need this? No, we this? don't need that. We were blown away. The first day she came and took measurements of all of our cabinetry. She went out and she found the right materials, which we're gonna to get to and show you. And we came back, her and her team completely transformed our space. And I would actually love to start with the cabinet that we used to use as our pantry. It was stacked full of food from top to bottom. It was a complete mess. And now I think it's my favorite cabinet in our kitchen, the way it's organized. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> so the way I think about this is basically, again, ease of use. So things I use the most, closer to where I can easily grab it. Things I use less, I'm gonna to put to the top. So, you know, beautiful bowls, which I'm sure you probably use more for parties, which is once in a while, but you're eating like on a dish every day. So I'm gonna put the dishes and kind of like your regular bowls and stuff towards the bottom. You know, most kitchen cabinets, you'll see they have like maybe three to four shelves, which is, is generally not enough space, but more important than creating space, it's creating layers. And so really be optimize a dish cabinet by adding in risers and adding in layers, so it's just easier to grab the specific dish or bowl that you need. The drawer that really excited me, this is our notorious junk drawer, but now it is a beautifully organized spice drawer. And this drawer just brings me so much drunk right now, I'm gonna cry just looking at it. <laughs> My other favorite cabinet, I don't even know which one I like better. This actually was where our pots and pans were. And it still is where our pots and pans are, but it looks completely different. It might as well be a completely different situation. Yeah, same thing. Again, I'm always going back to what is ease of use. The problem before was everything was stacked on top of each other, so it was just impossible or just really annoying to grab that pot or pan you need. So now if you want to like saute something, if you want to boil something, it's like right there. And the one thing I will say, Melissa did our kitchen now. It's been about a couple of months, mm -hmm. but since everything has its place, it's been very, very easy to keep it exactly where it belongs. I love when people say that because the last thing I want to do is like constantly always cleaning up and feeling overwhelmed by your space. Up here, it is all organized. I think we use our hand mixer and our pasta maker once a year. But now we know it's like safely stored here. This is why I actually love this space because everyone has something like this in their kitchen, which is you have a pasta maker or a blender where you still need to have it accessible. So somewhere like above the refrigerator is a great place for that because it's the place you don't go to all the time, but it's still accessible. We have all of our glasses and mugs here. Just makes a ton of sense. Before we had mugs down here, so that's working out really well. Barry is an avid collector of mugs. <laughs> I love coffee. And I'm so happy with how many mugs we're actually reduced in this yeah. pile. And something I really love that we weren't even thinking mm -hmm. is you open up the world of like bringing our pantry into the other side of the kitchen where there was taller storage. Mm -hmm. And that allowed us to, you know, get more groceries and keep more inventory of foods that we were excited to cook for. So the reason why I wanted to put the food here opposed to there, you know, is when you're baking or cooking, it's it's helpful to see what you have. And so 
When I go to someone's kitchen, I can almost 100% guarantee that 90% of the food's gonna be gone. And yeah. this is why organizing is so important. It's it's the same dilemma everyone has, which is you go to the grocery store and you think, oh, I need to buy baking soda, and you forgot you actually have like five baking sodas because you it gets lost in there. And so basically what we did here was contain everything and kind of make uh, categories for everything. So if you can see a lot of the oils are all here. So if you're looking for a specific oil, you can probably look in this section and find it. And I um, love the turntable so much. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's like anything in the back, it just can come right to the front. And then all of the different compartments mm -hmm. for the dry storage, which mm -hmm. is also really useful. Um, not every day do we need lasagna, but mm -hmm. at least we can visually see it. We do have this bar area on this side of our kitchen and it freed up the other side of the kitchen for the more everyday things. Right. You know, I think this is where you really want to tailor it to the client where, you know, some people use mason jars for water glasses, but I learned through the process that like, you guys use the mason jar often for wine. Yeah. So it's like, let's put it all with the glassware and it kind of so freed up that space over there. Yeah, we've really enjoyed this over the last couple of months now that everything is organized, just coming over to the side mm -hmm. for anything in the bar world. And then we have our coffee station mm -hmm. and our everyday drinking glasses over there. Right. What do you suggest for people out there um, if they don't know really where to start mm -hmm. in their home organization journey? Yeah. Um, so, you know, doing a whole space can certainly be very overwhelming, especially when it's your own stuff. You know, your stuff has a more of an emotional attachment to it. So with that being said, I would say start small. So one small space, even that. in the kitchen, start with maybe just your silverware, start there, and that's it. And then you can kind of like move through the kitchen, but do one space at a time. And if you're like, I just want to get it done, you call me. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa is a native New Yorker, so we're very fortunate that you're here. But for our subscribers out there that aren't local to New York, mm -hmm. do you do remote consultations? I do, yeah. And then I also do actually some work in LA as well. So if you're in LA, you know, I can be there as well. But yeah, I'm based that's, in New York, New, New Jersey. So. That's awesome. And how does everybody find you? Uh, with Arla.com. Amazing. Well, Melissa, we can't thank you enough for helping us organize our life. It has been just such an eye-opening experience. We're so grateful. Um, and this has been probably the most helpful thing for us to start the new year off. So thank you thank wholeheartedly. You. Thank you for trusting me with your space. <laughs> of course, yeah. come back anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in on this channel. Um, if you did like this video, do us a little favor, like the video, share it with a friend or two, share Melissa's genius organization skills, and hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.